This one always kind of bothered me. I've heard this throughout the years, people complaining about this one. His first um, supposed error of the council is when he basically says that the church, the traditional teaching is that there's only one church, the Church of Jesus Christ, and Vatican II is saying that there are two different realities, the Church of Christ and the Catholic Church, when it chose to use the term subsists in, that this church subsists in the Catholic Church, rather than saying this church is the Catholic Church. And he argues that, well, this saying subsists in could give the impression, or is saying, he thinks, that perhaps the church could subsist in other places as well. But that is manifestly not what the document is saying in, in the council as a whole. There's multiple times where the exact opposite is proclaimed. So his interpretation of subsists in is just is woefully lacking. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So so when you when you read the actual context here, he, the, the, the council. So what is the church doing in this document? The church is trying to again, it's trying to. It's 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 trying to build. Uh, it's it's trying to make clear that there are elements of sanctification and truth that are found outside of its visible confines. That's literally right. the quote. I couldn't even give the context without actually saying right. yeah. what it actually says. So that full that fuller context is that nevertheless many elements of sanctification and of truth are found outside of its visible confines. A perfect example right. of this is SSPX. SSPX has many, many good things about it and many different elements of sanctification, but it is also, whether you think they're excommunicated or in an irregular, relation, uh, irregular relationship with right. Rome, the very fact that they're in an irregular relationship means that institutionally, they're not fully there. But it doesn't True. mean that the Church of Christ can't in some way be found in SSPX or in Orthodox, or even among Christians that have a valid baptism. And so right. that's the point that, that it's making here. It's trying to, yeah. it's trying to make that clear. It's talking about when it says the Catholic church here, it's saying it, it's specifically emphasizing its visible confines, obviously visibly Protestants aren't in union with them. SSPX Orthodox. are in an irregular relationship at the least. Right. Um, and, and Orthodox are, not in full communion. And so that's right. the point that's that it's being made. Now, what is my interpretation? What, what is my interpretation versus Marshall's? I mean, does it carry any weight? Well, it does. If the church has made it clear what the actual meaning is, which it has. The sacred congregation for the doctrine mm -hmm. of faith has clarified this uh, in 1985. It says this, quote, the council chose the word subsistent precisely in order to make it clear that there exists a single substance of the true church while outside of her visible structure, only elements of the church exist. Right. The distinction which, is between subsistence and elements. Right. right. Which as elements of the church tend and lead toward the Catholic church. Now that's exactly how I interpreted it because what you have, what the church is saying, by the way, the fuller context is here. Let's read it. Nevertheless, many elements of sanctification and of truth are found outside its visible confines. Since, this is awesome, since these are gifts belonging to the church of Christ, they are forces impelling towards Catholic unity. That yeah. is saying and that. so far as those elements exist outside, they are yeah. forces that should impel them back to Catholic unity. And the it's lack of that unity is, in, is something that is bad. Exactly. It's, it's doing the opposite of what Taylor's saying. It's saying yeah. that the church is so much the one church of Christ. The Catholic church is the one church of Christ that whatever elements of truth are there, either in Orthodox or Protestantism yeah. or whoever, they belong to the church. And that's why they impel towards unity in the church. Now, again, the, the yeah. CDF clarified in 2000, August yeah. of 2000, yeah. just to do this again, it says, quote, the interpretation of those who would derive from the formula subsisted in the, sorry, the thesis that the one church of Christ could subsist only also in non-Catholic churches and ecclesial communities is therefore contrary to the authentic meaning of Lumen Gentium, close quote. 
Okay. Yeah. So that is, there should be intellectual peace among Catholics yes. about the CDF this is, has this explicitly, is not saying there are two churches. has explicitly ruled out Taylor Marshall's interpretation as an erroneous one. Yes. And it, it actually says in that same document, if I may, again, it's somewhat similar to 85, but I think even, even more strong in 2000, it, the documents Dominus Jesus, read it if you haven't. It's one of my favorite documents that's come out ever. Mm -hmm. Um, anyway. With the expression subsistit in, that's the Latin for subsistent, the Second Vatican Council sought to harmonize two doctrinal statements. On the one hand, that the Church of Christ, despite the divisions which exist among Christians, continues to exist fully only in the Catholic Church. And on the other hand, that outside her structure, many elements— can be found of sanctification and truth. That is, in those churches and ecclesial communities which are not yet in full communion with the Catholic Church. But, with respect to these, it needs to be stated that, quote, they derive their efficacy from the very fullness of grace and truth entrusted to the Catholic Church. Yeah. That's actually quoting Unitatis Rede Integratio, which is the document on ecumenism. Now, right. as my main area of study was actually ecclesiology. So this, you know, I studied this, the documents of Vatican II with Francis Sullivan, who was teaching in Rome during the council. Um, actually not a big fan of Francis Sullivan, but he has some good things that he, he's accurate about. I call him the anti-Dulles. He's sort of like, if he had a mirror image of Cardinal Dulles, it'd be Francis Sullivan. Sullivan's a little bit to the left, Dulles is more towards the right, but they both write clearly and very similarly. But anyway, um, Anyway, I've been studying this for many years, and so the, f the mere fact that, first of all, when you, the word subsistence means to continue to exist. It has a philosophical sense, which means sub substance. Subsistence is to have an independent existence, to be a self-subsistent being. Yeah. Right? Exactly. It's a state of being. Not like, That's what it is right. in the life. It's a state of existence. And in a certain sense, it also means it means to be integral or whole, complete to continue to remain, exist, yes. or to stay. Right. So subsist means not just is in a static sense, but to subsist is to pour door, yeah, is to always continue will be. to exist and to remain and to stay. Yeah. So and that's actually how Ratzinger understands. It's like, no, this is actually stronger than is. Exactly, is how exactly. But how do you define the three persons of the Trinity? Subsistent relations. Exactly. The persons yeah. of the Trinity are defined with the word subsistent. Yeah. Subsistent yeah. relations. It's right? a Thomistic concept. It's, a Thomistic it's from concept. Thomas. It's from Thomas. It's meant to stay. It's not just saying the Church of Christ is. It's coupled coupled with that is saying that the Church is and will always remain in the Catholic Church. Yeah. It means it continues to exist and has has perdured from the beginning. Yes. You know, and it's important. Now, what does the council say about churches and ecclesial communities? First of all, those aren't just synonyms. When the council says churches or ecclesial communities, it has something very specific in mind. From a Catholic doctrinal perspective, you can't be church without valid apostolic succession and va therefore valid Eucharist or valid, you know, Eucharist requires apostolic succession. That's why it says that, okay, the Orthodox churches are church, meaning they have valid apostolic succession and valid Eucharist. That's primarily what that means, which is distinct from ecclesial communities, which are, you know, Protestant churches and the like, because they right. don't have valid apostolic succession. There's a, there is a difference, a qualitative difference, an essential difference between the Orthodox churches that are not in full communion and the ecclesial communities that are of Protestants. So that's yeah. part of why it's using this term as well, that it, it subsists, meaning in its fullness, the ch Catholic Church exists in the Catholic Church. It cannot subsist elsewhere. It's, it, it's almost like a personal mode of being, actually, is what that, when we talk about subsistent relations, Ratzinger's mm -hmm. understanding is that it, it's, it's hearkening to the personal character. The church is a corporate personality mm -hmm. and cannot be duplicated elsewhere right you know and so yeah. even though the orthodox have many of these elements and even to the point where they become called church in some sense um even there they lack the fullness of catholic unity 
And right. it only the document is very clear that only the Catholic Church has this fullness. Um, and so, and just to, for further edification of our listeners, there's another part. So after this Lumen Gentium 8, which is where that came from, his complaint, and before his next complaint in Lumen Gentium, there's this, there's a statement in number 14, um, which shows there's no religious, rel- no religious relativism at all. It says, this sacred council wishes to turn its attention firstly to the Catholic faithful, Basing itself upon sacred scripture and tradition, it teaches that the church now sojourning on earth as an as an exile is necessary for salvation. Christ present to us in his body, which is the church, is the one mediator and the unique way of salvation. Mm-hmm. In explicit terms, he himself affirmed the necessity of faith and baptism, and thereby affirmed also the necessity of the church. For through baptism, as through a door, men enter the church. Whosoever, therefore, knowing that the Catholic Church was made necessary by Christ, would refuse to enter or to remain in it, could not be saved. Is that liberal? (laughs) If you know the truth that Christ established the Catholic Church as necessary for salvation and refused to enter or to remain within her, you can cannot be saved. Exactly. Exactly. You much more explicit. And, and there that. are so many of the. That's just that's just one. There are so many of those that p- pack a punch in Lumen Gentium and other places. Yeah. That you're like, man, when you read this all together, I, you can't come up with that sort of interpretation. Yeah. No. You so. Can't. And I also. Yeah. I just remembered. I wanted to go back to number eight again because, mm-hmm. first of all. A lot of his interpretation hinges on what he says when it says the this um, church subsists in the Catholic Church. Um, there's an antecedent to this church, right? And it's not it can't just be in any church. In the same paragraph that you find the 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 quote he mentioned, it's the, that paragraph begins with, "This is the unique Church of Christ." Yeah, the sole church, yeah. The unique, the one and only church of Christ, which is in the creed, or which in the creed we profess to be the one holy Catholic and apostolic, which our Savior after his resurrection entrusted to the Peter's pastoral care, commissioning him and the other apostles to extend and rule it, and which we he raised up for all ages as the pillar and main state of truth. This church constituted and organized as a society in the present world subsists in the Catholic Church, which is governed by the successor of Peter and by the bishops in communion with him. Next. Next. It, it's it's over. So yeah, I mean it's 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 when you read it in context and you know you you start to dig up what the, the CDF has clarified for us. Yeah. Um not it's, even yeah. It's it's not close. I mean All his right, so, own position has explicitly been rebuked by the magisterium. I mean, what else do we need to say? His interpretation is wrong. Right. 